All right, for those of you watching in the future, the year is 2018. And at this time, musically, we are on the verge of artificial intelligence making a big splash in music, as well as the new instruments we use. We have an array of samplers on the market, and yet none of them can contend with the way Insonic does its transwave synthesis in terms of creative control and sample processing. Even the Electron Octatrack, which offers massive control as far as audio sampling, even it is lacking when it comes to new forms of audio synthesis. And overall, we have made little advancements in sample creative control processing, especially considering where we are with technology on a whole. In this video, we're going to look at what makes the Insonic ASR10 and EPA16 Plus still samplers that are used today, and why many of us just can't seem to shelve these things in exchange for a newer software or hardware sampler. But first, I'd like to invite you to like, share, and subscribe to our sampler channel. And with that, let's get to it. Okay, so why haven't we made any advancements in new audio processing? It's definitely not because of the technology, that's for certain. It may be as simple as supply and demand. Check this out. Not many of us in the electronic music environment use samplers as our main instrument. And of that number of us who do, not many of us actually sample. Most sample users use a sampler in conjunction with sample packs, sample libraries, and things of that nature. And of those who do sample, most sample recognizable instrumental sounds. For example, sampling a snare drum or a kick drum or a recognizable piece of music to then chop up for further processing, but not further synthesis processing. And then there's those who sample unrecognizable sounds to create recognizable ones. These are your sound designers and things like that that will take sounds and create marketable sounds like snare drums, like synth tones, and so forth and so on. So we're whittling down the number here. Lastly, there are the few who sample anything to create new unheard of sounds. And this is where a process like Transwaves comes into play. There isn't much incentive for sampler manufacturers today to make things that only a few of us will use. So in 2018, we're only left with remnants of those days, locked away in equipment like the Insonic ASR-10. Transwaves is an incredible synthesis process that allows you to take samples and turn them into complete otherworldliness from anything. And whatever you're making, it's definitely going to completely alter the DNA of the original sample that you took. It's really nice and a valuable tool for creating music from scratch, especially if you're a sampling artist. So let's just give a visual to what I'm describing here. And if you haven't seen our original video on how to create quick and dirty transwaves, I'll leave the link in the description box below. Have a look at that and then come back and continue watching the video from this point on. All right, so here we go. What we'll do is we'll take a piece of music, extract a piece of that, create another tone, which we'll then insert in a new piece of music. So let's start out with our source sample. So from here, I've just took just a slice of that piece, which is this right here. Now I'm going to begin processing with Transwave Synthesis, and I'll use the mod wheel to scroll through the actual sections of the Transwaves. And these are big slices. I mean, you can get really granular with this, but I kind of like my things really loose and disjointed just for texture purposes. Now, I don't want to be using the mod wheel all the time to do this, so I'm going to have an LFO control the movement of the Transwave points. Right, so now we're completely free. We have a sound that's behaving independently of any manual control. So finally, to finish off this sound, I've layered it with itself, transposed an octave up, and also added some random panning to give it some spatial movement, as well as a modulation on the filter cutoff point. I've also assigned some aftertouch to modulate the pitch, and we end up with something like this. All right, that's all well and good, and this sound is sounding pretty unusable, but it is indeed usable. We can now build a song around it and use it as the main theme. All right, so starting off, here's the initial sample.
overall, Transwave Synthesis allows you to start from complete scratch. You know, easily, quickly, not too much muscle or fuss, and no two Transwaves are going to be the same. And again, this is something that you cannot do as efficiently in software or any other hardware box. And it must be said that the Insonic ASR10 and the EPS16 Plus are well over 20 years old, which is just one little reason why these samplers are still around. Those who know, know. When it comes to sampling, older hardware samplers definitely have a lot to offer in present times. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you liked and learned something today, subscribe to us here on YouTube. I will catch you on the next one. In the meantime, take care of yourself. Peace.